Hello, my name is Hector and this is Stud Tech Reloaded. Oh yes, oh yes. Now, as you can see, I've I've done some stuff. I've done a lot of stuff in fact. Um managed to get myself some nether wart and it's got this cool little kind of effect coming from the soul sand. Which is like it is cool, but it's like cool for like five minutes and then it kinda gets annoying. I wish it would stop. But that's okay, that's okay. Um I set up this smeltery. Oh yes, I smelted all the things, all the things, so many things. Um, but yeah, that that kind of helped out a lot. Uh, and I started, you know, started doing stuff. And then I thought, man, I'm I am running out of iron. Did a bit of a a jaunt down here, you know, down to the mine, try and get some more iron, but still wasn't enough. So I built an iron farm. Yep, yep. Built an iron farm. This is a, a really quick and dirty one. Uh, it's a temporary one as well. You know, probably won't have this for that long. But just whilst I was getting stuff together, it was just annoying me. I didn't have, you know, an easy supply of iron. They're the crazy villagers. Crazy villagers. Uh, and this is um, Nims TV's uh, iron farm. So I will put the link in the description. I'm sure most of you know it. Most of you know, but really as well, we also get trophies from this and this Vita from um, the, one of the new mods, which I've not really looked into yet. I don't know what that does, but uh, nice to have it. Damn bats! I just can't. Just, just literally, there's so many bats. Come here, come here. Ooh, and uh, that was a bit of a. I don't know. Oh, another trophy. Another trophy. Already got one. Already got one because I've killed so many bats. Killed so many bats. Look, this is my new kind of trophy collection. Uh, now I've got another bat trophy. This is great. Great, but unnecessary. So we'll just whack it in there. I've got so many heads. So many heads. Um. So yeah, so I hope you're all having a good day. I'm having a very good day. Having a very good day. Um. I got to spend yesterday basically playing on here uh, and if you think that this is all I've done oh no you are sorely mistaken and um, you might notice I've kind of upgraded my rapier here and uh, put a lot of quartz on now so no, usually I can uh, I can two shot mobs now which is nice just you know two shots and they are dead but but the big thing that I've done I, I did a lot of grindy work like a lot of grindy work and you might think that that is just a tree You'd think that, wouldn't you? You'd think that that was just a tree, but it is not. No. In fact, you can see here, there's a pressure plate, and that that's a door. <laughs> I love those so much. I know I've used them, like, on everything I've built so far, but they are awesome. ba 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 Oh, yes. So, I've got loads. Well, actually, not that many now, but uh, quite a lot of ores here, which is nice. Uh, I've put this here because I've been dying a lot recently, so it's nice to have some armor spare this here is a cobble generator oh yes so you can see there it's sucking out the cobble that it's making from those two things and I made a deep storage unit which is a thing of beauty and that's how much cobble I have mm-hmm yep 170,000 obviously that's because you know that's what I need and I know I could put in like loads more upgrades in this but I just don't need it and what what am I going to do with that? But that's working there nicely. I mean, at some point, I'm probably going to stop that because I won't need it. But this is the true thing of amazingness. So we have a redstone furnace, a pulverizer, induction smelter, and igneous extruder. This thing is amazing. I can I can make obsidian. I can make obsidian. How amazing is that? I like. I don't really do tech stuff usually, but I thought I would try. Um, you know, trying to get to grips with it because it's going to make life easier. You know, the the angel ring really kind of made me want to get, kind of go right. Let's let's get some stuff done. Let's make you know building on here easier. Let's let's get this all out of the way. So so I can craft basically obsidian now, which is awesome. I don't have to mine it anymore, which is great. This thing. I love this thing because what it means, well, I can put that in here, and what you get out is sand. I can I can make sand. I never have to go digging for sand again on this server, which I think is awesome. Um, sometimes you get gravel as well, um, 
now I don't like I don't know if you were if you know but well I can now look all of that could be sand all of that could be sand um, but I've built, I've been building a lot with sandstone recently on my uh, single player and on the V for Vanilla server, and it just makes me happy that at least here I can just have sand whenever I want, which is awesome. So um, we're hooking this up via lava. That's uh, it's all right, not too bad. Uh, with a magmatic dynamo. So where do I get the lava from? I'll show you this, and then that is actually. All that we've, uh, all that I've done, but I will show you this because this is quite nice as well. I'm quite happy with this. Also, huh, uh, let, oh no, wrong button, wrong button. Look at how many gusters I have. That's because I can fly, people. I can fly. I made myself a builder's wand as well. Haven't used it yet, but I know that's going to come in handy. Look at how many enderpearls, and they're actually going to come into play today. I think. I think we're going to stay with the tech stuff for a bit. Um, so we're gonna do some tech stuff because I, yeah, I'm still, I'm still thinking about my base build. Um, I'm still thinking about my base build. So here you can see massive lava lake, which means, oh, you know, basically endless energy. So I made an endothermic pump. And what this does is I, a little furnace generator here. I put some coal in here. Put a drum on here. That fills in like less than ten seconds. Oh. Oof. Right, let's let's take him now. Let's take him. I can totally do this now. Oh yeah. And oh, and I got two guest ears there. Two. Why did I get two? That's amazing though. That's great. Yes, please. Yes, please. And let's just get rid of. I don't need. I don't need the gunpowder right now. But there you go. So so yeah, that's um. That's that's my setup at the moment. That is my setup. So, what are we doing today? Well, um, I am working on a base design. I'm kind of I'm not sure what it is yet. the The big tree is still in my mind. Still thinking about that. I've been looking at pictures um, of kind of tree builds on um, on Google and just having a little look. And I think it would be here. I, whatever it is, I think I do want to build upwards and have a kind of, kind of sprawling, not sky base, but you know, it's, uh, upwards, upwards. That is what I'm thinking because I just think it would look cool in this area. Um, so yeah, so I'm still, I don't know, I'm not, I'm not sure yet. I haven't quite decided. So until then, there's a few other things that we can get going uh, around in the base area. One thing I need to do at some point is I need to, um, I think I need to set up a tree farm. That is something I need to do. And I know Wells has all got all that sorted. So I may get Wells sec in to, uh, to help me out with that. That'd be nice. That'd be cool. Um, uh, cause I, you know, I did all, all of that stuff on my own, but I think it'd be nice to have some kind of help, um, for that. Um, but today what I would like to do is I'm really tired of seeing loads of mobs around here. Uh, so I would like to start working towards getting a magnum torch. Now, in case you don't know what a magnum torch is, let's just... So, uh, it is this, it is one of these. And what it does is if you, yep, there you go, ugly torches, yes. You can prevent all mobs from spawning within the 64 radius, which would be amazing. You know, that, that's kind of what we need, but it is quite expensive. Quite expensive. Chandeliers, you know, take a diamond each. So, um, and you need potions of healing, which is why I got the nether wart. But what this says here, QED. So you can only make this in a QED. So what is that, you say? Well, it is one of these things. One of these, yes. Um, now for this we need end pearls and obsidian. Obsidian, not too bad. Now I've got that igneous extruder and obviously end pearls. We get slowly. We get slowly. Um, and then this, which burnt quartz. Ah, ah, okay. So I need to go on a bit of a quartz hunt. I, um, I use most of my quartz on my rapier. Um, oh, watch this as well. It's night time now. 
I can sleep in the sky. How great is that? I didn't think that would be possible. I kind of tried it as a joke, uh, but it works. So let me go on a little quartz hunt uh, and I'll come back and then we can get started on the QED. I've not really messed with that before, so that'll be fun. So catch you in a sec. Okay, so I got some nether quartz here uh, and I really actually need to get a pick that has fortune on it. Um, oh wait, hang on, is it my, I'm being daft on I, is, is it that? Yeah, ah okay, well that's a lot cheaper than <laughs> what I was thinking. Oh, modded makes me so confused sometimes, I forget vanilla recipes. Uh, okay, so, oh, whoa, that was a bit of a lag spike there. Um, so let's put this in. Oh, look how quick this is. Uh, let's get my uh, ender pearls out. I've only got 13. I've only got 13. Uh, let's see if there's any. No, no, no more. No more. I've only made another end stone as well, just because I've been using ender pearls. Ender pearls are so useful to have. Um, and ah yes, elevator block. I'll show you that in a second. In a second. Uh, let's see, is this done? Of course it's done. Oh, of course it's done. So, oh, I need diamonds. I need diamonds. Let's get my diamonds. Where, oh, where are they? There they are. I don't think we need all of them. Oh, uh, don't need that sulfur. So, we can whack that back in the chest. Okay, so. Let's have a look. Uh, we need one of these. Ah, we need um, things as well. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mhm, mm mhm. Mm so we've got this. Yes, yes, we have that. So we need to make one of these. Let's just do that for now. Uh, so we should be able to make that. Yes, good. Good, good. Um, we need to make two more of these, I think. So just, oh, there we go. Uh, we need some blaze powder because we new, need two eyes of ender. I have some blaze rods in here somewhere, yes. So just one of those. Oh, wow. Oh, man, I am getting some... Uh, some frame rate issues today, I don't know why. Okay, hopefully that won't persist. Apologies for that though. Uh, let's get that. Two of these, and the last thing I needed was a vanilla crafting bench. I just about remember how to make one of those. So, that should do it. <gasps> yes. Yes, we have the quacky ender device. Now that always changes. Quantum energy device. Oh, uh, there we go. Quantum energy. Ah, oh, you, you've been boring there. Okay, so what I've done here, if you don't know these, these are amazing. Uh, oh. we, can we please get rid of bats? Bats are driving me batty. <laughs> do, you, do you get it? Do you get it? Um, I don't know if you could hear that. That is... Um, we have some uh, some kids playing outside, so apologies for that as well. Um, it is a bright and sunny day, and I'm inside playing Minecraft, but I'm okay with that. I am okay with that. So, where is our thing? So that's there, so let's put that here for now. So there you go. So this is a new kind of crafting grid. Okay, I'm at Wells's place, Wells's place, um, because he has some melons. So, ah... Uh, I'm going to just take a couple, uh, and I just realised I've been I've been daft. I, I brought some uh, bone meal to bone meal them, but you you can't. Apologies for the noise outside there. You can't bone meal them uh, any further. So ah, that, I was hoping to kind of just leave it exactly as. Um, oh well, that was that was lucky. That was lucky. So I've only. I've only nabbed, oh, oh, well, that was, uh, there you go. Uh, thank you very much, Wells, for your generous donation, uh, and I'll see you back at the base. Okay, welcome back, welcome back. So, I believe that this should give me a regen potion. 
Yep, nice and slow. Nice and slow. I think there are modded ways of doing this. I'm sure I've seen like an auto enchanter or something, or uh, no, an auto brewing thing in MFR. So this is regen. I think if we put some of this in, we get regen too. Is that correct? I don't know. It's been so long since I've done potions. The only potion I kind of really properly use is um, fire resistance. That's the only one that I find, you know, very useful. And, aha, yes. Okay, so. Local brewery. Okay. Uh, let's put this in here just for now. Um, okay, and we need some more glass. Have we got any more glass? There. One, two, three. Uh, we need to make some what he health healing something 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 like that wasn't it um something with glistening melon anyway so let's put these in here let's put one of that in there let's put the gas tears away uh, and let's make a glistening melon so I need uh, one of that and then surround it by this yes I do believe so let's put this in now uh, and let's just check this so that's this and I think yeah so I've got instant health which is that that and this should be it I think I believe. Come on. Okay, that is doing stuff. This is good. This is good. I'm excited. I'm excited, people, because I, I do believe we might have ourselves a Magnum Torch by the end of this. Which is going to be... I'm, I'm really hoping it gets rid of the bats. That's that's what I really would like. Is that instant health too? Yes. Okay. So... Uh, let's put some of this stuff away. I need so much more space in chests. Uh, where's this? Is that? Yep, yeah, that goes up there. And that's going to have to do for now. Ba 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 ba. Ba ba. Um, I need to get the other potion. Just one. Just one. So. Um, so I have this down here, this like this, and then regen, and then instant health. Well, that's doing something. <gasps> that is doing it. That is doing it, people. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Come on. And I think what happens is that the more of these that you have, the quicker that this will craft. I do believe. I do believe that that is the uh, the way it goes. So come on, come on. Exciting times here, playing Stud Tech Reloaded with Active Inc. Lots of loading bars. <laughs> that is the episode, loading bars. But come on, this is going to be so worth it. Come on. Almost done. Almost done. If this doesn't get rid of bats, I, I will be sad. Bam bam ba! We have a magnum torch and a bit of frame rate light. Um, yeah, I keep, I keep getting spikes. I don't know what that is. Um, so this should give a 64 block radius kind of um, bubble, basically. So I don't really know. Yeah, I think I think actually around here is probably where I want it. So, where? Let's put it. Let's put it here. Bam, bam. So that hopefully, hopefully. Don't know about you, but I can't see any bats. I cannot see any bats. I, th I think it's worked. 
People, I think it has worked. I cannot see any bats. Oh, well, that is glorious. That is amazing. Oh, I forgot to show you this, actually. Just a little uh, cheapo cow and, and sheep farm. Uh, just for now. Again, all, all of this is temporary until the base begins. But, um, yeah, that is mission accomplished, people. That is mission accomplished. We are bat-free. Bat-free, which is amazing. So, thank you very much for watching, everyone. Um, I have been Ector. This has been Stud Tech Reloaded. And we are now officially bat-free. Oh, yes. Okay, see you next time, guys. Bye-bye.